Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Dom, and we are taking a look at the beta version of iWork for iCloud. This is going to be a big competitor to Google Docs, and it's available in any web browser on Mac or PC. You can edit pages, numbers, or keynote documents on the fly wherever you're at. It's pretty cool. And then, of course, it'll sync across your devices like you would expect with iCloud. But we're going to take a little look at this here real quick. I'm just going to show you kind of how it looks and works, and then we'll go from there. This will be available later this year, as Apple announced, at the WWDC 2013 keynote. So right now it's in a beta form and you can't access it without a developer's account. So let's go ahead and check this out here. Right here we have pages, so I'm gonna open that up. And as you see here, I have a document created. I have formal letter. And if we double click on that, we can pull up the letter here and edit any of the information that we'd like. So I can change the date to June 13th, June 13th, 2013. And then you can edit all of the other information just like this. And, I mean, it works. There's no lag or anything. There is uh, absolutely nothing wrong with it. It works just as you would expect, as it would in a standalone application or anything like that. Now, you can also drag in documents. So let's say I want to put a picture in here. Let's go ahead and drag in a document from my desktop. We'll just place it right there. And as you can see, it automatically wraps around the image, even though it's a little too big for this. Let's go ahead and resize that. So you see here, it works very well. I mean, it's got a nice flow to it. I haven't really encountered any problems. And of course, you can drag it wherever you'd like to in the text. You can set your alignments. You can actually add a little frame to it if you want. I can add a different kind of frame here. Let's go ahead and choose. That one looks nice. And as you can see, it works pretty well. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely impressed by it. It's going to be a huge competitor for Google Docs. I think that they have a run for their money now. So this is Pages. Like I said, I just wanted to give you a quick look at how it works from the inside here. Since you only got to see a little bit of it at the Keynote, I just wanted to give you another quick look at it. Let's go ahead and check out Keynote though real quick. Let's back out of here. And this automatically saves too, just to let you know, as you can see, it's updating right now after I exited the document. And you'll see those changes reflect here in a second. It just says updating document, and there you go. Saved and synced, just like that. So let's back out to the iCloud page here, and we'll launch Keynote. And as you can see here, I have a presentation that I started to create earlier. Let's open that up. And once it's loaded here, you'll see that we can edit this presentation just like you would, like I said before, in a standalone document. Hello, iCloud exclamation point <laughs> and we can change the image we can add effects to it we can add like a little shadow there or a border or something like that we can also drag in other images and we can create new slides as well if we want let's go ahead and there we go at the bottom there plus sign we will make this document here we go this is why i love icloud and then we'll replace this image right here. I'm going to delete that and replace it with another one. Let's replace it with this Nyan cat image right here. Now, the awesome thing here is I just dragged that in straight from my desktop. I didn't need to import it within any menus here in the browser. Just drag and drop right into the document and it works just like that. The same goes for things with like Word documents. You can just drag them right in and start editing. It's pretty nice. We'll just put a standalone image. Of course, I'm going to replace that with something else. Let's find an image here on my desktop. I'm going to replace it with this one right here. Notifications. Nice little image there. This is an iPhone presentation, in case you guys didn't know. And see how that snaps into the center? That's a really nice feature there. They have guides that will snap the image right to the center of the document, which I find very helpful because... It just makes things a lot easier when you're in the creation process. You really don't have to worry about this kind of stuff. They give you all the little details that you need to be successful <laughs> inside of iWork for iCloud. So as you can see, I mean, it works fairly well. And uh, there's really not much else to it. It's just like it would be if you were using it on an, an iPad or a Mac or a 
well, now you can use it on a PC in the web browser here. So that is the great part about this. Let's go ahead and type in one more thing here real quick. And then we will preview our presentation. So we'll press the play button here. And once you have played that, you can then click through and cycle through all the slides just as you would in any other application like this. It's pretty awesome. So this is Keynote. I just wanted to give you guys a quick little rundown of this. It's pretty cool though. I'm very impressed with how this works. I mean, I'm going to use this thing all the time because I can edit any documents right here on the fly. You can even drag in Microsoft Word documents if you need to, and they'll open up you know, right in pages. Of course, you do have numbers here as well, but I do not have the numbers app, so I'm not going to be showing you that. But as you can see here, we have templates that we can create documents from, and that's the same with any of these other applications. If you create a new document here, you can choose from a wide variety of templates that you may be familiar with when you're using Pages or Keynote or anything like that. You have all these templates to choose from. So just a quick little overview for everybody out there on the internet. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. This is iWork for iCloud. It's in beta. It'll be out later this year. Thanks again for watching, everybody. This is Dom, and have a great day.